Welcome to The Daily Spin. I'm Steve, the owner of InlineSkates.com, and with me today is Steve Cherrier from Rollerblade, and we've been talking about skates all day, haven't we? We are. And this is something brand new, the Igniter, Rollerblade Igniter 100. Um, and this is sort of a, a cross between kind of two different skates, right? Well, it's yeah, it is, Steve. It's, um, it's a 100 millimeter wheel skate. Which you usually find on low cuff, more racing oriented skates, right? Right, with a full height cuff right. skate. So it's gonna give you a support. Um, the skate does, it doesn't have a break on this sample here, but it will come with the break. Mm -hmm. um, so it's gonna give you good braking power and more support in the skate, but a 100 millimeter kind of big wheel experience. Mm -hmm. So a more supportive, maybe a little more comfortable fit, but that experience of having that super uh, fast, super yeah. strong aluminum frame, good wheel, really high end yeah. bearing. Yeah, so a fast 100 millimeter wheel. It's also a 100 millimeter wheel is also really good for rolling over rough pavement. It's just a nicer experience. Now, uh, there's a there's a defect in this skate I wanted to point out. You guys only put a 90 millimeter yeah, wheel we, right here. We ran out of 100 millimeter wheels. Yeah. So Now, that, that's actually a very intentional change. <laughs> there's a reason change. for that. There right? is. Yeah. Uh, can you tell well, us what that is? Well, one thing about, so, so bigger wheels is a nice experience. It rolls over things really well. And, and a also, bigger wheel, one rotation goes further, so you get more speed does. eventually. Right? Yeah, and it also rolls over bumps, but it also adds height to the skate. So. The, uh, the critical point um, on, a, on a skate here is the, the second wheel position. That's where the boot um, would normally be the lowest, yeah, right? Yeah, that's where it gets closest to the boot to the ball of your foot. By putting a 90 millimeter wheel right here in this position, we can lower the, the uh, boot down lower into what we call low balance frame position. Uh, we, at Rollerblade, we tried to get every skate as low as possible. So by changing this out, we can give you a full height cuff, 100 millimeter wheels, and all that expedient experience. You get the experience of a 100 millimeter wheel, but you're lower than. But not get too high, right? So the other thing I noticed on this skate um, is it's got a little different uh, addition to the closure system. Can you show us that? It does. It has a, um, a special lace lock on here. Um, I'm going to open this top buckle and show you. But when you're lacing a skate, you can just simply um, pull up on the lace system here, and then slide down the lace lock, and then this Velcro is right back to the tongue. And this is sort of a, sort of a high-tech lace too, which moves it is. really it's smoothly. A, it's a narrow lace. lace; it'll go through these lace guides really easily. And you also have a, uh, a ratcheting buckle on here, Steve. You can see, so you can fine-tune the buckle to get ah. just the right fit out of it. So you can even kind of do that on the fly as you're going. You could you just kind of feel. So that's one thing I noticed is after I've skated for. 20 or 30 minutes, I usually want to tighten my skates down a little bit. So, you know, either while you're skating or just stopping, you can easily pull a little on this, pull yep. a little on this, and just and tighten adjust it down it. just a little bit more. Exactly. Okay. Um, so venting, I notice there's a little more venting on the skate as well. There is. Yeah. yeah. There's a little more venting in the front to try to keep it cooler. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice, the, so th there's an SG9 bearing on this skate with mm -hmm. a high quality aluminum frame. Right. Um, one thing that happens when you get into larger wheels like this, your frame length gets longer as well. It's a little bit different skating experience, but if you're a better skater, you're going to appreciate that. Mm -hmm. So this is really for the skater that wants to, is going to spend a little more time on their skates, right? Exactly. More it's, venting, more performance, more comfort. It's, it's good for distance skating, a, a little bit better skater, um, and it, but it also is going to offer that extra support. Now up to this point, we've said most of the miles could be a first time skater probably wouldn't recommend this one for a first time skater, would you, because of the longer frame? Yeah, it would be it would be a little bit of a stretch. Um, if someone was very athletic and you know they skied a lot or something like that and used to balance sports, um, they could get into a skate like this, but um, but yeah, this is generally an intermediate or beyond skater. Mm -hmm. Now, neither of these have a brake on them, or the other models we sort of yeah. did, but it does come with the skate. It comes with the brake in the box, yeah. that's correct. Okay. Yep. All right, so uh, ideal skater for this skate? And by the way, I have the women's version of it in this, my hand and you have the men's. I do. Um, so who's the customer for the skate? Um, it's a, like I said, it's an, a, an intermediate or beyond skater, someone looking for a big wheel experience, um, but wants the support and especially braking support. Is what so you get it's from perfect the for you know, that cross trainer, someone who wants to get fit, go fast, but uh, have a lot of fun and do it you know, um, a couple times a week or something like exactly. that. Exactly, yeah. the distance. Okay. So there you go, there is the Rollerblade Igniter 100. Thanks for joining us today, Steve, on The Daily Spin. Thank you. And thanks for joining us at home.